when you're sharing your stories, should you be emotional or should you suppress those feelings so as not to alienate your audience? The answer to that question can be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. Recently, I seem to be working with several clients who are asking the same question about their stories. Michael, I feel like I'm getting too emotional in my stories and I need to, to suppress that. I don't want the audience to think that I'm up there just blubbering or being too emotional. I don't agree with that. Why not? Doesn't it hurt your credibility if you get up there and start crying and bawling? And, well, it depends on the situation. An important early lesson I learned in speech coaching was that we should never use the stage for therapy. If your story is extremely serious and you haven't completely dealt with it, maybe you shouldn't be telling it on stage yet. If you can't get through it without sobbing uncontrollably or just not being able to compose yourself for a couple of minutes, it's too soon. You're not ready for the stage. On the other hand, if you do get emotional and you need to compose yourself for a couple of seconds and maybe shed a few tears, there is nothing wrong with that. As a matter of fact, that can draw you closer to your audience and create a deeper connection. Here's an example. Several years ago, I had the great privilege of working with an NFL Hall of Fame football player named Anthony Munoz. Big, tough athlete, right, from a manly sport. But during his TEDx talk, he talked about a, a low point in his life. He was in college, his senior year. He was going through rehabilitation for his third knee injury. Everybody was telling him, there's no way you're going to make it into the NFL, Anthony. He would wake up in the morning, go to physical rehab. He would go to class, go to work, go through more rehab. He did this day after day. And one day it got to be too much. He went back to his tiny apartment and he sat down with his new bride and he just lost it. At that point in the story, he stopped and the silence went on and on and on he finally looked at the audience he said I'm so sorry this is just really an emotional story for me and at that point the audience erupted in applause at that moment he was no longer an NFL Hall of Fame football player that we couldn't relate to he was a person just like you and me who had gone through a tough time in his life and it was perfectly fine for him to show emotion, to feel it. And in that moment, he connected with the audience at a deeper level. Don't use the stage for therapy. On the other hand, don't be afraid to show your emotion. As long as you can keep it under some type of control and it doesn't go on for a long time, audiences will never, ever dislike you for being human. I look forward to seeing you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.